Hello YouTube, LD50 here, about another video, and today we're going to talk about two of my favourite weapons from Borderlands 2. They've been in Borderlands 3 for a while, um, but they've both recently received uh, some attention from Gearbox, um, some favourable attention, and I thought we'd have a little look at them, see how they perform, um, and give them a sort of quick test out. And those two weapons are... The Unkempt Harold and the Butcher. Both of these uh, weapons have been in the game for a while. The Butcher has been in for, uh, since base game and uh, the Unkempt Harold has been in since DLC 3. Uh, but both were underperforming and in the most recent hotfix Gearbox has decided to increase the damage um, and it's increased the Unkempt Harold's damage by 100% and it's increased the Butcher's damage by 83.3%, but more importantly with the Butcher, it has increased the chance for the special effect for ammo to be um, added to the magazine rather than taken when you fire, um, extending the magazine. Um, that has been giving uh, an increased chance to proc so it actually works as intended now and you can fire this thing for quite a long time uh, without it reloading the Harold can be got from Kaber Dowd uh, that's in uh, Blood Sun Canyon uh, in DLC 3 and the Butcher can be gotten from the Raging Titan in slaughter shaft or as a reward for lootograms from uh, Dinklebot so if you go to uh, Skywell and kill Dinklebot he can drop um, lootograms you take them to Crazy Earl Crazy Earl can then possibly if you're very lucky drop you uh, legendary and the butcher is in that pool of legendaries Personally, I would recommend the Titan. Uh, there is a method to repeat farm the Titan. Um, if you get to round five of the slaughter shaft and uh, kill the Titan, but don't kill the last enemy and then teleport back to uh, the, the slaughter shaft start. So you're outside the arena again. It will reset. Uh, you'll fail that round. It will reset and then you can do it again and ad infinitum until you've got your uh, required butchers um, we're going to take these weapons through Athenus uh, this is my Zane build uh, I'm running a a very laggy PS4 uh, running a, a revolter shield seeing dead a pearl uh, and it's piss grenade just for the action skill end uh, there's no grenades involved in this build but it gives me the uh, anointment uh, this is the build purple tree blue tree nothing in the red tree apart from uh, Donnybrook from the com and a few points in the green tree and we're running with our guardian rank on and we're running on mayhem 11 so we'll have a run through this first area uh, probably just with the Harold, then we'll go and uh, finish uh, the next area with the um, Butcher and then we'll just uh, use what we feel like using until we get through to Tron. Oh yeah, that's a strong weapon. Yeah, that is a strong weapon. It feels a bit different to uh, the Herald of DL2. Uh, the projectiles are much quicker, um, so it's got more of an immediate uh, feel to it. You're not having to anticipate or lead targets. Being a slower firing weapon, it's uh, not giving me as many opportunities to properly see him dead uh, so my uh, shield is not staying up as much nonetheless we are managing
Right, this is a test. See if we can get up and fight for our lives with it. Yes, and we can. Good. Right. Right, everything seems to be successfully dead. And we'll try the butcher in the next area. Yes, that's certainly very effective. Yeah, I would say that the ammo regen uh, effect is working very well now. I don't think I've had to reload yet, or I think we'll have to do so now. Seems to be better to use it in uh, burst fire mode. Still got somebody up the top there. Let's go and take care of him. There we go. Right, thoughts on the butcher? Um, yeah, I think that's a top tier shotgun now for mobbing. Um, we'll see how we do against the boss. Um, but for mobbing, yeah, very, very good. Um, very low ammo consumption. You can see I've still got 233. 243, yeah. Still got quite a lot of ammo. Alright, let's uh, clear out the next two round uh, rooms as quickly as we can. This one's a kinetic uh, butcher, I think. And let's try the radiation herald. Yeah, that'll be me. That'll be a bit of self-damage. But we're able to get back up again. Uh, what it might be worth doing um, if you're going to run um, the Harold with Zane would be to uh, actually put some points into the red tree so that you can get to uh, duct tape mod because uh, if you can get one point into duct tape mod uh, that will um, negate the self damage from uh, the herald there so you'll have be able to because it you you need to use it close up that's the problem with it you need to be close because of the way that the, the pellets split so you know to get them all to hit on a head you need to sort of be this sort of close which means that you're open for self-damage. So uh, that might be something to consider when using the Herald with uh, Zane. Go down and use duct tape mod. We'll just keep our distance though.
time. Bullets for you. Everybody gets bullets. Right, we're just going to go down and do Traunt now. Um, uh, we'll use the Radiation Herald, I think. Um, see how we go on with that. Throw on the barrier! Gah. What's up now? The last one, that one. Try a bit of Butcher. Yeah, very, very strong weapons. Uh, very, very strong weapons and very, very happy to have them back in the game. So, just to recap, that was the Unkempt Herald, which has just had a recent 100% damage increase uh, applied to it. And the Butcher, which has had an 83.3% damage increase uh, applied to it, plus uh, a big increase to the uh, chance for the special effect of free ammo. Um, we've just ran through um, Athenus using our fairly standard uh, blue and purple tree zane with a seeing dead uh, with a seeing dead class mod pearl. Uh, it's piss grenade for the ASE uh, radiation, uh, sorry, incendiary damage and the revolter shield. And we were playing on Mayhem 11 and we had a Guardian rank turned on. Uh, so that was the two weapons the Harold and the Butcher. I'm very, very glad that they've uh, decided to buff these weapons. They're now very, very good, very powerful, a lot of fun to use. Um, and uh, I reckon you should go and get yourself one of each at least. Right, I've been LD50, you've been lovely. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.